Now I'd like to demonstrate the dynamic spring feature that we provide, especially on the standard based chair. Some children need the ability to move when they're sitting. They extend against the backrest, or some are repetitive rockers, and some, maybe with ASD, that need to do some self-stemming of rocking gently against the backrest. We have provided a feature for that. If I turn this white handle, I now am enabling a compression spring, which gives me a full 10 degrees of flexion that the child can bounce against. Again, to lock it off, I simply rotate the handle the other way, and now it's back to a fixed backrest. Now, this dynamic feature does take about 10 degrees of your adjustment stroke in the backrest. So now, when I tilt this all the way forward, I get about 5 degrees forward, 10 degrees back. We have the similar feature below the seat. I'll raise this up so you can see what I'm doing. If I rotate this handle, I'm activating a compression spring below the seat. Now we have 10 degrees of bounce below the seat. This is very effective when you enable both springs to be compressed. We were working with one little girl named Christina, and she loved to rock in her chair, and she hit a very gradual soothing rhythm when she was able to flex both the backrest and the seat. This was very effective. So it's something you will be able to adjust. You can lock out the backrest or lock out the seat or enable both. We offer the same dynamic spring feature behind the backrest on the high-low base option chair. And again, that is this white handle on the backrest cylinder. I can turn this to lock it or turn it this way to unlock it to enable the 10 degrees of bounce. And this is good for children with extensor tone that may thrust against the backrest to enable that backrest to move with the child. For safety reasons, we've decided that we don't want to offer the dynamic spring feature below the seat. The reason for that is that it opens up too many pinch points that may occur while dynamically bouncing with a high-low base option.